Good evening, girls and boys. Tonight, I have a story about little rabbit and his birthday. So this book calls Hurry Up Birthday. Hurry Up Birthday. Bouncer bounced out of bed. He grabbed a crayon and crossed off another day. Hurry up, wake up! He called to his sleepy brothers. Tomorrow's my birthday! Muncher grunted. Snoozer yawned. At breakfast, Bouncer gobbled carrots as fast as he could. Slow down, said Mother Rabbit. Can't, said Bouncer. I am in a hurry. I'll eat your breakfast for you, offered Muncher. Thanks, Bouncer called as he hurried outside. Every morning Bouncer practiced bouncing. Today he bounced twice as fast and twice as high. Bouncer was in a hurry. Bouncer bounced faster and faster and higher and higher. Do you want to play Hunt the Berry? called Muncher. Sorry, can't stop, puffed Bouncer. I'm in a hurry. Bouncer bounced so fast that he didn't see the big branch above him. Ouch! Mom! shouted Muncher. Bouncers heard himself. What happened? asked Mother Rabbit. Bouncer bounced too fast, said Muncher. I'm in a hurry said Bouncer, rubbing his sore ear. I want today to go really fast, because tomorrow's my birthday. You can't hurry time, said Mother Rabbit as she bandaged Bouncer's ear. Tomorrow will come when it's ready. I can't wait that long, groaned Bouncer. Hurry up, birthday! Being busy might help you stop thinking about your birthday said Mother Rabbit to Bouncer. Why don't you find us a cabbage for lunch? A big cabbage, said Muncher. So off Bouncer bounced down the hillside, past the sunflowers and across the meadow. But when Bouncer reached the field of cabbages, all he could think about was how they looked like rows of birthday presents, all wrapped in green paper. Hurry up, birthday, groaned Bouncer. Bouncer handed Mother Rabbit a big cabbage. Now, is it nearly my birthday? he asked. Sorry, not yet, she said, shaking her head. What about cleaning the burrow? That'll stop you thinking about your birthday. Your brothers could help, snoozer yawn. I'm too tired. I'm too busy, said Muncher. I've got to find a lost carrot. Hurry up, birthday, groaned Bouncer. Bouncer cleaned up anyway, but when he blew dust off the table, all he could think about was blowing the candles on his birthday cake. Hurry up, birthday, groaned Bouncer. Finally, everything looked neat and sparkly. Now, is it nearly my birthday? Bouncer asked Mother Rabbit. Soon, she said, tickling his good ear. And while you waiting, do you have enough bounce left for one last job? Mother Rabbit gave Bouncer a basket of apples for Grandma Bake and off he bounced. Bouncer tried to think about Grandma's apple pies, but he couldn't. All he could think about were Grandma's wonderful apple birthday cakes. Bouncer bounced faster and faster and... Oops! Apples stumbled everywhere. That evening, Mother Rabbit kissed her three bunnies goodnight. 
The quicker you go to sleep, the quicker tomorrow will come, she said to Bouncer. Waiting is so hard, said Bouncer. I wish every day was my birthday. Mother Rabbit shook her head. Then birthdays wouldn't be special. Now try to go to sleep. Snoozer and Muncher quickly fell asleep. But Bouncer couldn't sleep. He watched the clock ticking. Hurry up, clock, whispered Bouncer. But time moved slowly. Bouncer gazed out of the barrow window. Hurry up, stars. Hurry up, moon, he whispered. And the stars peeped out of the darkening night. And the moon moved slowly across the sky. Too slowly. Hurry up, birthday, yawned Bouncer. And he finally shut his eyes. When he opened them again, it was... Morning! Happy birthday! Bouncer bounced a big, slow birthday bounce. Today, Bouncer was going to do everything slowly because he didn't want to hurry his birthday. That's the end of this beautiful birthday story. Have a good night!